It's your girl Nicole with that so Nicole and I'm back again with a new video today we are doing my luxury car tour inside and out by now y'all should have seen the first car vlog where I talked about how I manifested purchasing my first luxury car and I took y'all along with me for the purchase and today which is part two I am gonna do the inside and out car tour or car yeah car tour so I've never done this before so this is a first for me just like buying a luxury car is the first for me so I'm super excited to show y'all my new baby and I don't think I mentioned it in the last video I think I gave y'all the name options but I don't think I gave y'all the name that I came up with for my car so y'all just have to wait till the end of the video and then I'll tell you what it is. But if you follow me on Instagram, then you probably already know what it is. So yeah, either way it goes. Y'all just have to wait till the end of the video if you don't know already. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the car vlog. Of the car so the back is pretty keep it pretty simple you have your back seat and it is two-toned so my color to the car is well the interior rather is called a Canterbury beige I think I'm saying that right and then it's black as y'all can see two-tone you have your your basic back back seat or back back of the car a sedan size car so you have your handle here which is the chrome color this is for of course the windows you have your individual cup holder and then a little cubby hole there and then the back seat here and it's three three seats so this does fit three full-size adults I haven't tried it yet but I'm pretty sure it does so that's pretty cool you have these little nets compartments on the back of each seat there I should have pushed that seat up but there you see so for the people that sit in the back if they have something to stow then they can just use that and put it in there this feature here you pull down and that is the middle console for the back and then this button is for your drinks now one thing that I did say about this new car that I have not done in none of my other new cars is we're not eating in this car um, we're not eating in this car for one y'all see it is a light color interior and for two food just smells your car up so that's something that I'm incorporating in this new vehicle one because it's my luxury vehicle and two because 
I said so, it's my car. So, <laughs> um, yeah, and so far I've been doing good abiding by my own rules. So anybody that rides with me, um, you know, I hope you eat before or you can wait till we stop because you're not eating in my car. And that's that. One of the features that I do like about the back seat, I have not driven or rode in my back seat yet, but one of the features that I do like is the fact that the back seat passengers can control their air ventilation. So they have these two vents here, then you have focus, then you have the buttons here. So auto, cold, hot, and then how you would like the air to flow um another feature that i like is let me zoom in why is it so dusty clearly because i haven't been back here but another feature that i like is that this car comes with the usb c port let's zoom in a little bit more so y'all know with the newer devices especially with apple products your charger ports or your charging um your chargers they have the usb c the skinny ones so if you have your cord you can definitely charge your phone back here and you don't have to worry about using the charger in the front because you have your own in the back but yeah that's pretty much the back seat the back of the trunk is pretty spacious standard size trunk for sedan but i have this little compartment thing here and i just have my cleaning little cleaning wipes in there and then my shoes my work shoes i keep in here and then this little goodie bag that i have not taken out yet so yeah your standard size trunk really nice and spacious just the way i need it all right so a f another feature that i love about this uh, car is that as long as i have my keys in front of me or next not in front of me but my keys somewhere close to me I can literally touch on this handle and it unlocks the car how cool is that and then you could do the same by locking it just some little grooves there and it locks the car I thought that was so neat so yeah let's go ahead and unlock the car <laughs> look at that amazing and let's get in it so this is the front of the car. Y'all heard that little welcome noise. That was like my welcome ring or something. I don't know. But um, yeah, it's to let me know that the car door is open. The details, it's the details for me. It's kind of bright, but y'all see this? Look at that, chromed out at night or when I'm in a dark, um, like the garage or whatever, and it's dark, I'm gonna show y'all also what it does is really cool it has like these pathway lights that guide you <laughs> to the door so i think that's pretty neat too but i'll show you that one it's a little bit darker but let's go ahead and look at the features so your door this is the driver's side door by the way so the door again two-tone you got your canterbury beige and then your black and this is leather by the way everything in here all the interior is leather and um so yeah, you have your chrome handle here, your lock, unlock. The settings we'll talk about in a minute. This is for my side mirrors to adjust and set. And these are for all the windows in the car to control it and then to lock the window, of course. Um, especially if you have kids riding in the back, you can lock the window so they're not playing with it or you know, break it or anything like that. But pretty much this is the inside. And as y'all can see, my seat is all the way up. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Um, but it kind of did that automatically. I don't know if y'all saw that. Um, but yeah. This is the inside of Le Car. Alright, we're going to get in. And we're going to talk about it. So let's talk about it. So as soon as my car recognizes that it is me that is opening the car and has gotten in the car, it gives me a welcome, that welcome ring that y'all heard. And then also it has a welcome message on the screen. This here, we're going to talk about that in a second. So if it wasn't me, then this is what that's for. But we'll talk about it in a second once we talk about this beautiful screen here. I mean, it is amazing. All right. All right, so we already talked about the side door and its features there. 
um so we're gonna start from the left and work our way over so like i said this is the front of the car i showed y'all the back of the car but my passenger side they have the full and my seat is all the way back but yeah so pretty much on the passenger side door you don't have all the bells and whistles all you have is your lock and unlock your handle and then the window control and then you do have a cup holder there and then a little compartment as well and then also you have your what is this called the compartment you know where you keep all your important documents and stuff there you have your vent and then there is a the airbag and then you also have a speaker there which i'll get into that in a minute um and then your mirror which if you open it it has an automatic light i just said i was gonna work from left to right and look at me working from right to left okay <laughs> let's get back over here so anyways so standard you have your vents here and you're able to control it there the light settings here right now y'all see it's lit the little green um is lit for auto because i don't want to have to mess with anything so i automatically keep it on auto these buttons these buttons on the steering wheel is for the cruise control i'm like what is it called cruise control so these buttons here are for that and i actually got to put this to the test on the road last week i took my baby on the road for the first time and it drove she drove like a champ okay you have your i think these are called paddle shifters or something like that i don't use them but uh yeah that's what they're called i um, i think i don't even know how to use them so i don't even mess with them but it's for people that like you know they know about them they drive fast sports cars all that good stuff then here you have your for the signal for your signal and then for the light beams but like i said i have my lights on auto so it automatically has the auto beam so when i am driving at in the night time and i'm on a really really dark road my car automatically recognizes that it's darker than usual and it automatically turns my beams um up for me so i don't even have to do that and then these buttons we'll get into it in a minute once i turn on the car but the steering wheel though this is my steering wheel i love it bmw emblem there i kind of want to get this blinked out i might they have a, a little accessory for it um this button here is for the heated steering wheel i love it i have used it already because your girl don't like to be cold and i definitely don't want my hands to be cold so that's that but i love the way my steering wheel feels it i can grip it i mean i can control this car like it's nothing okay so let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on so first things first um you see how far i'm away from well uh, y'all probably can't see well now y'all can see but you see how far i'm away from the pedals that's because i went ahead and i pushed my seat all the way back because i wanted to show y'all what it means um for the bm bmw id and why it's set on mine versus when it's set on somebody else's okay so because i um i'm already in the car i have my keys with me my main key because there's multiple keys but i have my main key my setting is going to be one so i'm gonna go ahead and press one and look at my car look at my seat i don't know if y'all can see it it's automatically moving so it automatically moved me to my setting for me that I already has set because I am under my ID. And so now I can go ahead and turn my car on. Ooh, love the way it sounds when she turns on. All right, let me put that there so y'all can't see my business. All right. All right, y'all, so now let's get into the fun stuff. Stuff. the fun stuff is the the gadgets that are in here that makes this car that sold me on this car okay first and foremost like I said the um, the hand lock the hand gesture lock that sold me on the car and then the fact that the inside when I got in this car and test drove it y'all this screen is ridiculous look how big this screen is and it goes all the way so this is my main dashboard here but it also floats into this part of 
the dashboard i guess you want to call it but yeah i thought this was so cool it's so neat and it's just like a little computer i mean well let's not let's not do that let's scroll over so yeah so you see this i mean you could pretty much control everything straight from here click on bmw that's my car there and you could touch it look and it's touch screen and it just twirls it it tells me pretty much anything i need to know about my car go back and then you can always add a widget so it's just like your phone if you want to add more widgets or more apps you can do that i really haven't had a chance to play with this yet i just use the basic stuff so my radio the phone of course which is um apple carplay is connected and my maps um so yeah that's pretty much it i'm gonna keep it on that for now but basically this is like i said my dashboard is all it's all electronic virtual digital and um pretty much you know see right here this is going to show you the speed this is right here is going to show you how much gas you have so that's how much gas well how many miles i have until empty right now my car is in park um this little feature here i like because it will tell you when you have other people in the car with you so right now it's just me and once i put my seatbelt on let's see if it does it because right now i don't have my seatbelt on but once i put my seatbelt on let's see so y'all see how it turned green that's because i just put my seatbelt on so if you're driving with other people no matter if they're in the passenger seat or in the back once that seat belt uh oh not her disappearing we took well there you go now it's red because i just took it off but anyways once that seat belt once it's red that's letting you know that whoever's in your car with you doesn't have the seat belt on um once it's green that means they're good to go green go red no all right so that's that then it gives you the temperature there and then it shows you again that you are in park. So it reminds you that you are in park. Another feature that sold me on this car is the heads up display. So I don't know if y'all could really see it because it's daylight, but y'all see that? That is in my window. Nobody else could see that but the driver. My passenger can't see it. The people in the back seat can't see it. Only I can see it. And it is my eye level. I have it set that way um obviously because i'm the driver but i do love this feature because it basically eliminates the fact that i have to look here i could just look straight ahead while i'm driving and i could see the speed if my navigation is on it'll also show up there i know it's kind of hard because it's daylight so y'all can't really see it but yeah anything that shows on this dashboard it shows in the heads up display and i love that i thought that was really cool that's a really neat feature that i've never experienced so yeah these buttons like i said i'm gonna come back to this so these buttons are this is for my volume so of course to lower the volume up the volume this is for my phone calls this is menu and this is if i want to do the voice assistant so i can just hit it so let's try it again voice hey bmw where's the closest starbucks I have found multiple results for Starbucks. Which one should I select? Number one. Great. Starbucks 80 Jesse Hill JR Drive, Southeast Atlanta, Georgia is our next destination. So we could do that. Hey BMW, stop navigation. All right, so that's pretty much how you use the voice assistant. So I can touch this button or I already have my car set to the microphone on so I don't even have to press this button if I don't want to I could just say hey BMW and she automatically pops up like she just did just now never mind no 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 then if we move right along you have your vents here this is how you control them open and close then these are just the small little functions that you really don't have to use because you have this big screen here but this is to control the volume 
um if you're wanting to skip music that's where that of course your hazardous lights and then the air uh the air ventilation so then you have this cool little look at that so you just press it and it pops open right now i have my shades in there but Ooh. Okay, so here you can actually lay your phone there and it charges it. Kind of like if you ever driven in a Tesla, that's what Teslas have. They have um, a place where you could just charge your phone. So I just keep my glasses there unless I have my phone. But then you also have a regular USB uh, charging port. So if you don't have the newer USB-C like I showed you in the back of the car then you could just use this and that gives you the older USB cord My little cup holders these cute things here my coasters I bought separately and I actually uh oh I actually got these on Amazon So if you're looking for cute accessories to dress up your car Amazon has some really cute stuff there. This is just a 12 volt battery port yeah when i first got this i was like is this for cigarettes but no it's a um a 12 volt battery port there then moving right along this fun little concoction here i definitely had to get used to because as y'all can see there is no shift stick or anything like that pretty much you have your mouse your car mouse I don't know if that's what it's called, but that's what I call it because that's what it acts like. Because if I twist and turn, y'all can see it's doing that. And then if I go home, oh, go like that, then y'all see it pretty much is like the mouse on your computer. Like this is, when I say this is like a computer in your car, it really is like crazy. So yeah, that's what that does. Um, then you have your arrows of how you want to go, but you have your media button. So that's, you know, for music things like that home will get you back on this screen there your maps navigation i think this is for telephone i don't even know if i press this i think that's telephone um back button and then options this is your shifter so unlike the standard you know car you don't have like i said i don't have the stick the little sticky thingy the stick you know you go like this i have this little feature so right now i'm in park but if i wanted to go and drive i just move it that way if i want to do reverse move it up if i neutral just move it down one drive and then park now it's back in park so yeah that was pretty cool i had to get used to that because i was not at all none of my cars i ever owned had that so that was a pretty cool feature this is for if you're parking on a hill then you just press that and it you know parks it keeps your car steady what is it called you know that extra parking feature y'all know that's what that is these yeah you know i i forget forgive me but i don't know what these are but if you're a car person and you know about the the uh the proper terminology for these things let me know but yeah that's what these are <laughs> i do know what this is this here is the um that feature that a lot of cars, eco-friendly cars have now, where your car automatically turns off as soon as you come to a stop. So stop sign, stop light. If you're stopped in traffic um, on the highway, your car automatically turns off. I have this feature off because I don't like it. It's aggravating, aggravating to me. I just don't like it. But there's another feature that I do have on that's similar that I like better. I'm going to show you that in a minute. This is my start stop button. This is how I turn the car on and off. These three here are the different ways I can drive my car. So I can put it in sport mode. I can put it in comfort, which is what I normally drive it in. And then Eco Pro is going to be your gas saver. I used this when I took a trip last week. And that's how I saved a lot of gas. I did a three hour drive to my destination, three hour drive back, and I only had to fill up once. That is definitely a gas saver and i believe what i learned from this one is this car it pretty much if i have this on this feature on the car the car engine is programmed to use the energy from 
something electronic in the engine don't quote me on it i'm not i don't know about cars but that's pretty much how i understood it and it doesn't use as much gas when you have this on this feature is kind of a balance between these two i like this feature and then sport is pretty much self-explanatory explain self-explanatory you use this feature and you're definitely going to be dusting everybody so yeah that's if you're trying to get somewhere really really fast um auto h is a feature that i love so basically y'all can see is on auto h right now but like let's say i'm driving i'm driving and i'm at a stoplight but i don't have like i told you i have that feature that uh, the car automatically shuts off at the light i have that off because that's aggravating to me but what i do love about this auto h feature is that i have control over if i want the car to stay still or not so while i'm at the light if i take my foot off the brake i mean off the gas the car will stay still it'll be like it'll be in chill mode basically but the car will not turn off it'll just be idle and i love that because the other feature i don't know it just seems like it's just so jerky I, I just don't like it but this feature is different for me and i love it because all i have to do is tap my gas pedal down and it'll turn on and then once it's time to go, once the, the light turns green, I just go. I just press the pedal and then it just goes. So I love that for me. So I do keep this on because I love that. And it doesn't interfere with like the other feature. It doesn't interfere when you're driving on the highway. It will not turn on automatically unless you press the pedal. This feature will turn on automatically once it senses the car stops. I don't like that. I like to have a little control. Um, then moving right along, this is your compartment here. So this little button, boom, you have it open. So I already obviously filled it up with my stuff, my necessities that I have when I'm traveling. So I have my small USB-C. I have another port in there. I have my keys in here. I also blinged out my keys, if y'all can see. This is a case that goes over the, over the key fob. And then it has a little blinged out um, key ring. I thought that was pretty cool. I got that on Amazon too. But I have my lotions, hand sanity, keys, glasses. And that's it. Pretty much. Um, but it has a lot of space in there. So if I need to store stuff, a lot of stuff, I will do that. Let me go back to this. Because this is, like I said, the seller here. So let's go back to... The BMW ID, that's what I was telling y'all about. So like I said, right now I have it on myself, manage BMW IDs. So y'all can see it's set to me because I am the one that's driving right now. I have the main key and the main key is set to my profile. However, if someone else is driving my car and they have the other key, then it automatic the car will automatically recognize guests and it'll be guest profile so all the settings that i have that are under my profile the seat setting the um steering wheel setting the temperature setting all of that is set right now on how i like to drive my car but if somebody else is driving my car and they don't have my main key it automatically will will uh go to the guest profile and they will have to you know set their seats set their mirrors set everything to the comfort level of them so that they can drive the car so that is something that i like because the car automatically recognizes who is driving the car based on the key that is near it if that makes sense so yeah that is a cool feature i like you also have your car play so if i want well let's not do that Let's do music. CarPlay will automatically connect your phone. And if you have a, if you have a, um, what is it called? Android. If you have an Android, you're not an Apple person, it does have that as well. So that's pretty neat. Let me control it with the mouse. You have your Sirius XM, which I, hey BMW, pause music. sure okay so yeah 
what I was trying to show y'all was that I have Sirius XM. So it, it the subscription came with the car. You have a whole bunch of stuff, y'all. Like a whole bunch of stuff. I'm still learning my car. I just think this is so cool. Like this is the coolest thing ever. I feel like, you know, this is the luxurious vibes that I was looking for. <laughs> to show y'all let me show y'all this other thing before i get so much into this so the top <laughs> i totally forgot to show y'all so this is the top of the car so you have your lights which is very bright you have your um roadside assistant call thingy here but this is what i love you press this and boom So that is my moon roof, y'all. This is my moon roof. Not a sun roof, but a moon roof. Like, if you're sitting in the back, you can definitely see, get the sunlight from the roof. And if you're sitting in the front, the same thing. And then this button here, if I press it one time, it automatically opens the window up. Which I like to ride with it open just to get the natural air. And then press it one time and it closes and if I just want a little air just press it this way and it opens that so I thought that was pretty neat because I've never had a car with a sunroof let alone now I have a moon roof so yeah now we're finished that's gonna be pretty much the car tour um, I'm gonna show y'all what the car looks like at night. So I'm gonna go park in the garage so y'all can see the ambient lighting that I love that you can customize to your liking, the color that you like. Also, I'm gonna talk about a little bit, uh, some more features that I didn't get to talk about. So let me go ahead and park in the garage so y'all can see like the nighttime features. It's so Another cool. Another feature that I love about this car is, let me go to it. Oh, interior lighting. So you see that? Interior lighting. If I just click on that, right now I have it set to pink. So it is, it's called Flamingo. You probably can't see it because it's not focusing. But it's called Flamingo. So it's Flamingo Pink. And that's the way it's supposed to look. So I try to get in the darkest place. I could but y'all see this is lit the handle is lit underneath is lit right there is lit my feet y'all can see that my door panel here here is lit and the back passengers they're gonna be lit too and y'all see the door back there so yeah I thought that was a pretty cool feature it adds a little pizzazz to the car especially with my car color being light inside i feel like the pink definitely matches the beige color but if i wanted to change it you know if i felt like going to a different color we can go turquoise let's go turquoise let's go turquoise oh, wow look at that that is so cute so you could change it to however you're feeling whatever you're feeling that day you could change it to that what is rose rose looks kind of like peach i don't like that let's go back i like my flamingo let's keep it on flamingo that's going to be the closest pink to me and then let me see if y'all can see the pathway lighting y'all can kind of see it do y'all see it so y'all see the pathway lighting So the pathway lighting, let's go this way. The pathway lighting is on all the doors. So it's not just my uh, driver's side door, it's on all the doors. And that's, like I said, for, you know, if you can't, if you're having a hard time at night, um, coming back from the club or is it dark? I don't know. You're in a dark area and you need, just need help get into your <laughs> inside your car. That lighting is supposed to help direct you to the car. So that's what that is. So one of the, um, the other things that I took note of that I didn't just talk about, just remember. So remember how I told y'all I have my main key. So this is my main key and I dress it up. Obviously I put the case on it, but what i love is that i have not only one key two key fobs which is typical when you get a new car then i also have a key card and then i also have a digital 
key so the digital key is like basically it's like your um what is it called your apple pay so let's say i forget my keys at home or i you know left it at somebody's house and i need to drive my car how am i going to drive my car well let me show y'all let me show y'all so as long as i have my digital key on me which is your attach you can attach it to your what's that called your apple pay you know where you store your apple pay so if y'all could see it let me show y'all the other way come on focus it doesn't want to focus there you go so you see that that's attached those are all my digital cards that I have to my Apple Pay but if I didn't have a physical key on me I would literally sit this in that little compartment where I said it charges the phone and the car will read my key card that's already assigned to me nobody else and I'll be able to drive my car with it isn't that cool I thought that was so cool I can also unlock my car with it um so I thought that was a great, great feature, especially for somebody that might forget real easy or just is like busy and, you know, accidentally forgets their key somewhere. I thought that was pretty neat and a, um, a safe backup. Oh, and then my key card, like I told y'all, I have a key card that I keep on me also in my wallet. So in the event that again, I don't have my physical key, I have a key card this also as long as i have this on me i can unlock the car drive with the car this car is a computer okay let me tell you it is high tech computerized everything okay and then of course your two key fobs and then you have the app as well so the bmw app has your profile um and it's called my bmw i don't know if you can see it my camera yeah i gotta get a new camera but basically, let me turn this around so y'all can see. But basically, it gives you all the details that you need on your car. Um, I can also lock, unlock. I can turn the air on. So like if I'm on the way, like let's say I'm getting off work on the bus, on the employee bus on the way to the parking lot and it's a hot day and I need my car to cool, to be cool by the time I get in the car, I can go ahead and manage it on the app. You could do so much on here. So, so, so much. I really, really love this for me. So yeah, I think that's now, I think that's everything that I wanted to talk about. If you enjoyed this car vlog, thank you so much for sticking around and watching it. I really, really, love my new car i am so glad that i went with this option i'm so glad that i chose bmw um like i said in my last video my first luxury car that i wanted and i had my mind set on was the mercedes-benz c-class 300 but when i did the test drive on both cars and kind of compare the pros and cons for me and for my lifestyle right now the bmw won hands down for me not to say that i will not get a mercedes eventually or in the future or i might just become a full-on beamer girl and just keep upgrading my car but for right now the beamer i'm a beamer girl the bmw won for me like in all aspects it gives me the luxury vibes it gives me the sporty vibes which i love because i do have a little you know i like a little speed you know and this thing could pick up okay i love that for me so it's kind of like two like i said in my last video two in one it gives me the luxury of both i can be a sports sporty girl and i can still you know have the sexy luxurious vibes as well i didn't talk about the color which is the color of the outside is alpine white so i did go ahead and choose another white car and that's just because i feel like it gives it that feminine vibe my last car was a white car and it also had a sporty touch to it but beamers bmws are known for the luxury sports car so that is the upgrade for me yeah i just i'm just excited that i was you know i'm able to do the things that i want to do and purchase the things that i want to purchase right now like now is the time for me and that's it i'm gonna do i'm gonna do what god is allowing me to do and that is it i'm grateful i'm blessed and i'm not gonna hold back on 
you know the things I'm not gonna downplay and have this imposter syndrome like I feel like I've had for some time now and I'm just like God bless you with all these things like don't hold yourself back because X Y and Z like no that's not what this is this year 2023 is about elevating to the next level and this is it y'all this is it okay this is the beginning so with that being said i do again appreciate everybody that's been supporting me and supporting my channel because y'all keep me going y'all keep me motivated and y'all keep me wanting to make more videos and then also expand more content on my channel so it's not just about the flight attendant stuff my channel been about lifestyle way before i started posting flight attendant vlogs so you will get a little bit of lifestyle vlogs in between but you still will get your your flight attendant because i know that's what y'all come for i know y'all love the flight attendant stuff so fear not the flight attendant vlogs are not going anywhere but i did want to show y'all and share with y'all some of the some of the blessings that you know have been coming into my life because i feel like it's just that's a part of me and so this is my channel so that's what i wanted to do i'll leave y'all with some encouraging words just to say that you know i don't post these material this is all material stuff right so car luxury car you know luxury items purses shoes all of that is material and i'm not really a material person but i do believe in you know when you work hard and you sow the seeds that eventually that's going to come back to you tenfold right so i feel like this is my time to you know start receiving all the seeds and everything that i have sown within these last couple of years and now i'm able to actually reap the benefits that i have put out in in a sense like good karma you know and so I say all that to say like if you are you know working hard and you feel like none of your work is uh getting noticed or you feel like you're not reap you're not reaping the benefits of all your hard work that you're putting in fear not it's okay it's gonna happen it's not gonna be overnight this was not overnight this is not a cheap car this is the most expensive car i've ever bought this this thus far in my life and this did not happen overnight some people can do it you know you know they they do it earlier they do it in their in their early years or maybe it's given to them down the family line but for me i had to work hard i had to work for it and so i'm proud of my hard work because it for me this is starting to pay off and it's starting to show with the things that now i want these are things that i've always wanted these are this is how i see myself i envision myself this is how i i look at myself from the outside in not from how other people look at me and so I say all that to say if you're you know you're out there working hard you're you know putting in work you're a content creator or you're working hard at your you know your nine to five or you haven't gotten to that career your dream career just yet don't worry it's coming just keep doing what you're doing be consistent keep putting in the work have faith and it'll it'll all work out three years ago i did not see this for me at all three years ago i couldn't even imagine where i'm at now because it was just so it was so dark but here i am three years later and i'm living out the things that god has for me so i say all that to say it doesn't happen overnight you still have to you know get up and find the courage find the inspiration somewhere to keep pushing and know that eventually it will happen for you it, it it may not have to happen in three years it could happen in a year it could happen in a couple of months change could happen in six months change could happen you know whenever it needs to happen when it's your time for it to happen it's gonna happen but just know that don't give up because it's not happening when you want it to happen that's what i'm trying to say so i've been talking for 13 minutes i gotta go because i have to go to work but i hope that you enjoyed this vlog i hope that i covered everything that you know needed to be covered like i said this was my first car vlog so yeah if i miss something or if you have questions or if you just want to leave me a nice comment do that make sure you leave it in the comment section below but again thank you so much for joining me in today's video make sure that you like this video make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already and make sure those notification bells are on so that you don't miss when i post another video until next time bye hey.